Hey y'all, this is Amanda and welcome back to my Texas Zone 8A garden. And today we're going to be finishing off this portion of the front garden by installing a beautiful Barbary and some gorgeous heated up Gallardia. Okay, if you didn't catch my prior video where I installed this Salsa Dancer Hibiscus and these annual salvias, I'll drop that link below. But at the time I was telling you I was looking for a Barbary um, to go in front and Pat had suggested, one of my um, subscribers had suggested that I add the Barbary because it would contrast really well with these lime-like hydrangeas right behind it. And as soon as I read what she wrote, I was like, oh, she's so right. So let's talk about this particular Barbary and why I chose it. Okay, so I do have a orange rocket Barbary on the side of the house and it's more of a straight upright variety and it gets about four to feet, five feet tall. Now here, I did not want to do four to five feet tall because it would cover the hydrangeas. So I ended up choosing this particular Barbary, which is called Admiration Barbary. And a little bit about it, it only grows one to two feet tall and wide. So it's almost full grown as it is, which I like that. I think it's going to cover this negative space really well without overwhelming the entire space around it. It is sun to shade. It is hardy and zoned up to zone four. Um, it is deer tolerant and drought tolerant as well. And it has orange red leaves edged with yellow holding color well through the summer. And barberries typically are not evergreen in my area. They'll drop their leaves and get new leaves. But I really like the look of it. I like this shape, this kind of rounded shape, I think was very appropriate for this space. With the orange rocket Barbary, where it's like more straight up, and I'll put a picture of what the orange rocket Barbary looks like more straight up. I didn't feel like that would fit in that space as well, but this one I think fits really well. So let's look at it. So it's just going to be nestled right in there. I think it's going to work really good, but let me show you the next part of the design. Okay, so this will be the third year that I've grown this specific variety, which is uh, Proven Winners Heated Up Yellow Gallardia, and I love it. Um, even in the worst of summer, like the worst heat, the worst drought, it looks wonderful. And so I, it, it is wonderful. You do not have to prune this. It just buries its dead. So it just grows more and more blooms, covers up the old blooms. A little bit more information about it. This is an annual in my area. Um, it has a mounded kind of rounded effect. I have found that it kind of leans towards the sun. So be aware of that. It is about 12 to 24 inches wide and high. It is annual except in zones 8A to 10B. Now, this has never come back for me. I am 8A. It has never come back for me before. So I definitely treat it as an annual. It does want full sun um, and it needs really good drainage, but I have put it in areas where I have clay soil and it's done really well. So these are annuals. I picked these up from Covington's. That's where I put it. I've been looking for them. So the idea is that they go right here along this kind of back line of that salvia that I planted right there. So we're going to add in a splash of yellow. So now I've got a whole bunch more color coming through. And as we continue going on through the summer, I will add more and more yellow to different parts of the garden. But this will be my first yellow of the year. I wanted to grab these as soon as I saw them because I know I'm just obsessed with them. Now we're going to dig holes for all of these. Yes, I'm going to dig a big hole for the uh, Barbary, even though I hate digging, digging big holes. And we are going to add plant tone to each of these holes as we get them planted. Okay, just a little bit of a closer view showing you all how that all kind of works together. And you can see now we're adding so much more warmth to the garden. I think this is really nice. If I didn't have the Gallardia, that yellow color, I think all of this would all just start to blend together, right? Because even though these are warm tones, they'd still kind of combine with this pinkish tone. So all of this would have kind of just combined. But by putting this strip of yellow in the back, it makes it everything pop, 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 pop. Everything around it pops because I've added in a color that contrasts with everything else. Okay. 
So let me shove this Barbary over for a minute. Oh yeah. And I do have a lot of mulch here. So I'm gonna pull some of that back out of the way in the hole that I'm digging so that I can put it back after. I loathe digging holes. Um, typically, if I have to dig a hole, I ask my husband to do it. <laughs> I don't like digging holes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the Barbary out. Now, Barbary has lots of stickers. So let me see if I can get my hand in here without absolutely killing myself. All right, so I got that, pull it out, and I'm gonna use my bucket to put the excess soil in. I'm also gonna be a little bit careful going in here because I do have drip lines in here, and I wanna make sure I'm not puncturing any of them. And I'm not going to be keeping this soil because it's mostly clay. So I'm going to dump it and I'm going to be adding in potting soil or garden soil. I do that a lot in my garden when I'm digging bigger holes and I run into a lot of clay. I will go ahead and um, just throw that soil away, all that clay away, and add in fresh garden or potting soil, whatever I have on hand works well. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead Add some plant tone. Get my barbary place in there. Looks good. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and let me grab some more soil. Okay, and I just filled the bucket up with garden soil. Just work it around. And then I'm just going to use my foot and go around the outside of it, tamping it down to make sure I'm getting rid of any air pockets that might be there. Okay, I, I love it. <laughs> that looks really, really good. Okay, let me go ahead and place the Gallardia. The Gallardia does like to have a fertilizer, so we are going to have plant tone in it, but it should do really good. So keep an eye on what this looks like. I'll do a before and after picture. So we have what this looks like now, and I'll show you side by side what it looks like with the yellow versus now and how everything will pop. root bound. This is root bound. See how the roots are going in circles around it? So I'm just going to take my hands, rough it up around the sides. When the roots start going in circles like that, that's root bound.
Now I think I'm going to move some of these salvia forward just a little bit to make more room for the galardia. Now I've got more room right there for it. Okay, those look great. Okay. So let me put up the picture of what it was before the yellow. So you can see the difference and how much the yellow really adds a pop in there and adds contrast for the space. You know, it's really easy to fall into like a color palette that you're obsessed with, which is great. But then, you know, if you have too much of one color, it all starts to blend together. So it is important to have a little bit of variety within your color scheme, just to make sure that things will pop. All right, let me get these watered in. Okay, so definitely a shorter video today, but I hope you all have enjoyed seeing the process of this area come together with the original um, setup of the hibiscus and the salvia, and then coming back through with the Admiration Barbary and the heated up yellow Gallardia. I love the way this looks. This area is done for the season, and I'm really happy to play with this. I'm glad I forced myself out of the box with some different colors. Did put some permanent fixtures in, which is always good and will save me money in the future. Um, but yeah, everything looks really, really nice. All right, you all, as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when my latest videos are up. And make sure you check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. As always, she's Matt Gardner or decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks, y'all.